Welcome back to Test Lucky, the YouTube channel where you can follow the adventures of Lucky the Tesla. Unfortunately, today I am not sitting in Lucky the Tesla. I am sitting in a rental car and we will get to that in the second video in our vlog series about Tesla auto repairs following our minor car accident in Lucky. But first, before I get into those details, as it relates to our channel, if you already love Tesla, if you're thinking about buying a Tesla, or if you're just curious about electric vehicles in general, please subscribe to Test Lucky. All of our videos are Tesla related, and we are super excited that last night we hit a new milestone with subscribers. 200 subscribers. So thank you everyone for watching, subscribing, and supporting what we're trying to do here with uh, Test Lucky. So um, the other thing I want to say before we get into the details here for the vlog update number two is that if you've watched any of our other videos, you know that our content is 99% unscripted. I don't think I could like script Carly if I wanted to. She's like, you know, uh, she does her thing, right? But for this video, I don't want to ramble on. I don't want this video to be too long. And I do want to make sure that I accurately communicate the details as it relates to our experiences here, because I want other Tesla drivers or people who are thinking about driving a Tesla to learn from our experiences and to get realistic expectations for if anyone else is in a similar situation where they're involved in a motor vehicle incident and they have to get repairs made to their Tesla. So I want it to be accurate. So I have some notes here. Um, the first thing I will say, and if any of you have ever been in a car accident, which is probably most of you, I mean, this happens to pretty much everyone at some point in time, is that there are three insurance companies involved in our accident. And I have lost count of the number of phone calls uh, that I have had to make over the last couple of days related to uh, or phone calls with insurance companies. Like, oh, uh, enough of that. Okay. So today is October 25th. And yesterday I took Lucky to the Tesla body shop. I was really just trying to kind of organize the details with an appointment for the future, but it ended up being a really productive day. We got Lucky uh, checked into the, uh, the body shop and we actually got a lot of really uh, good news. So the first piece of good news is that we are lo probably looking at weeks and not months for the repairs to take place. The target date for completion when Lucky will be uh, ready to come home is November 15th. They might beat that date or if they you know, get in uh, and take Lucky apart and they see some other damage that they couldn't see from outside the vehicle and they have to order more parts or something, it could take longer. But fingers crossed, Lucky will be back on the 15th. Um, the second thing that I learned that was really good news is that the battery underneath the car does not extend past or to the front tires or the rear tires, you know, in the front or the back of the vehicle. So the, the guys at the Tesla body shop said there's absolutely no way that this minor accident where we were um, struck by another vehicle, you know, we were rear ended uh, from behind. There's no way that the battery could be damaged at all. So I was very relieved to, uh, to hear that. Um, so they have not provided a formal estimate yet. Uh, next Monday, there's going to be a representative from the insurance company going to the Tesla body shop and they're going to work together on uh, the estimate. Um, but the two uh, representatives at the Tesla body shop said to them, it looks like five or six thousand dollars worth of damage. Most drivers carry about ten thousand dollars worth of coverage as far as damages uh, caused from an accident. So the gentleman from Tesla said that they predict that this would be well under the, uh, the coverage for the other driver, which was really good news. Now I said to these two guys, I said, do you realize that there is a video on YouTube that shows a Tesla Model S with a little ding and a little scratch on the door claiming that that is $34,000 worth of damage and that that Tesla had been totaled and was up for sale at an auction. And they just kind of rolled their eyes and they're like, yeah, we know. So there's a lot of information out there that Tesla um, 
car repairs are like crazy, crazy expensive. And while, you know, five to six thousand dollars worth of damage on a car is not necessarily cheap, it's also like not unreasonable when you think about, you know, the base price of a new Model X. So I was uh, I was very pleased to uh, to hear that. OK, the best news. Ready for the best news? The best news is that Lucky will not lose her active spoiler. I was very concerned about if they were going to have to replace the back lift gate of the car, that it would be replaced with a lift gate with a fixed spoiler and not the active spoiler that is a unique feature to some of the older Model Xs. And we love the active spoiler. When I walk up to Lucky, and I have the key fob in my hand, the little active spoiler goes up and it reminds me of like a dog. Oops, the light just went off on my, my lighting just went off, lighting is back. Reminds me of a little dog, a little puppy who gets to go for a walk and is so excited and like shakes her tail. And um, okay, so that's kind of goofy. I, I'm, if Storm is watching this, I know he is rolling his eyes right now going, cringy wife. But the other factor is, is that it does make the vehicle more aerodynamic because the active spoiler adjusts to um, the wind speed and the speed of the vehicle to extend battery range with making Lucky as aerodynamic as possible. And also, you know, we made the decision to buy a used 2016 Model X. The new ones can't get the active spoiler. The new ones get Netflix and YouTube and Dune Buggy and all of those cool things. So I'm just relieved that we get to retain one of the cool, unique features of our older Model X. Um, now, as it relates to the lift gate, they are going to try to repair the lift gate first before replacing it. But they said because the Teslas are made out of aluminum, there's uh, probably about a 70% chance that the lift gate will have to be replaced. And it's very hard for them to work with the aluminum, aluminum uh, to reshape it uh, to its original uh, and, and perfect, you know, look of the, uh, the vehicle. So about a 70% chance that they will replace the, uh, the lift gate. And if that's the case, they said they will move the active spoiler into the new lift gate, that the dimensions of both the old and the new lift gate are the same, and that it was the, the spoiler has the same exact specs, and it's really easy for them to swap out the active spoiler into the new lift gate that would no normally come with the fixed spoiler. So good news for that. So they're going to try to repair first. Um, and then the other thing that's good news is that the lift gate is in stock. Now, usually this Tesla body shop has a lift gate already uh, in their storeroom. And right now they currently don't have one for an X. They had the three and they had the S, but they didn't have the X. So it's in stock and Tesla went ahead and already ordered that lift gate, even though there's a chance that they might be able to repair the uh, the lift gate without replacing it because they like to have one in stock anyway. So when it's in stock, it takes about a week to come. So they ordered that yesterday so that if they do the uh, repair attempt and it doesn't work, they will already have the new lift gate in the um, shop there and it won't be like another week where they're like waiting for a part. So I was really appreciative of the fact that they uh, took that approach. I think that's excellent customer service on behalf of Tesla. Tesla. So thumbs up for ordering the lift gate, even though they may not uh, need it. Um, what else did I have to say about? The, oh, with the lift gate, uh, the, the representative did say that there was one time that he was uh, working on repairing another Model X and the lift gate was not in stock to order. It was on back order and it did take two months for that person to get their lift gate. So I'm uh, very relieved that that's not the case with our repairs. But for fair disclosure, he said if that part had not been uh, in stock, we would have been looking at a much longer wait to get um, Lucky repaired. OK, so that's all the good news that I learned at the um, Tesla body shop here in Las Vegas yesterday. So the disappointing news is that, you know, we had to get a rental car 
yesterday. I'm sitting in a Ford Edge, which is a very reasonable replacement vehicle for a couple of days. It's another SUV. It's very spacious, comparable cargo space to what we have in the uh, Model X. So we will obviously survive in our Ford Edge uh, for three weeks. You know, I was hoping to be able to continue to drive Lucky as long as possible because she was and is drivable, but the insurance representative made a very good point to me that if I made the decision to continue driving Lucky and something else happened to the vehicle, we had another incident, um, you know, somebody else like dinged into her in a parking lot or, or whatever, that it would become very difficult and very complicated to determine which insurance company was responsible for which damage and which damage was from accident one, uh, which damage was from accident two and you know, so as much as I didn't want to leave her there yesterday, it was the right thing to do. And um, that's what we uh, that's what we did. Um, OK, so that's it as far as the updates in the progress that we have made uh, in the um, the three days since uh, the minor uh, car accident with Lucky. There is one side note that I want to add, something that I learned yesterday from talking to the representatives at Tesla that I wanted to share uh, with the viewers because I think this information is important to get out there. I I've read a lot of things online. I've heard a lot of buzz about people complaining about taking their Teslas in for repair repairs, not like collision body shop work, but just general service and maintenance uh, on the vehicles, warranty type stuff, and being given Uber credits instead of a loaner. And I've seen a lot of people kind of complain and put negative energy out into the world about getting these Uber credits instead of a loaner vehicle uh, as something that was, you know, inadequate uh, service on behalf of Tesla. And I was very curious about that because I was kind of thinking like, yeah, Uber credits. I'm like, what's up with that? So what I learned yesterday, and this doesn't relate to me because our rental vehicle will be covered by the auto insurance for the claim. But if Tesla drivers, this is the way it is today. I don't know how it was two years ago. I don't know how it's going to be two years from now. But as of today, if a Tesla driver takes their vehicle in for service, they are given the option of having an enterprise rental car for the duration of the repairs or getting $100 per day in Uber credits. So the driver gets to choose which they would prefer uh, to get a non-electric rental from enterprise or to obviously take advantage of the uh, the uber credits the, the the gentleman at tesla said that the loaner program which by the way not all auto uh, manufacturers offer loaners to their customers for repairs i mean some do but not all so Tesla's offering, you know, the rental car or the Uber credits because the loaner program, the logistics of that are very difficult to manage. How many cars you have to keep in the loaner fleet and then if you run out of vehicles and then you got to move loaner vehicles from location to location and then people get frustrated if they get there and there isn't a loaner vehicle and it, it just became... Um, too difficult for Tesla to manage, so they came up with an alternate solution, which to me seems very fair, and I just wanted to share that uh, information. So thank you for watching Tesla Lucky. We will be back soon when there is another update uh, for our vlog series here in the Tesla auto repairs process following a minor accident. Safe travels, everyone. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.